Welcome to my series of Become Unbeatable. Here is where I'm going to teach you how to use any weapon system and strategies that you can implement in battle. And today's lesson, Evade Ground Attack Part 1. If you are new to the game and want to have some cool air battles without markers while still being able to attack real people on ground units, this is going to be the best video for you, because anti-air vehicles are not going to allow you to fly free, so you need to learn how to defend yourself against them, before thinking on any threat on the air. So, without further ado, let's go right into it. Understanding your enemy As always, we need to understand who we are fighting against so we can decide how to approach in battle. At low VRs we find the most primitive anti-air vehicles, you know, those without radars, tracking systems, missiles or proximity rounds. But you too are on a primitive vehicle that are very slow and doesn't have any accurate weapon to reliably fight against those ground attackers, so we are going to pay attention to our strengths and limitations as well. Now, the earliest anti-air vehicles functions in a very simple way. They use their eyes or other player hints to locate you, and then guess the necessary lead to hit you with their rounds by following your trajectory with a trace of their bullets. Most of the time, they need to fire a lot before they get a hit while revealing their position on the battlefield. You'll find these anti-air vehicles with all kinds of fire rates from BRs between 1 to 6.3, since at 6.7, you'll start seeing vehicles like the American M163 of BR 7.7 .7 with tracking systems. Always check the vehicles of one BR above yours since Gaijin is often adding new vehicles or balancing the game by lowering or increasing BRs. Understanding your weaknesses You are slow regardless of your vehicle rank, and flying slow make you an easy target, so pay attention and avoid making unnecessary maneuvers that might bleed your energy or speed. Overspeeding on these vehicles can also be a problem, especially on a dive since rarely you get air brakes at lower VRs, so even when trying to engage ground targets, you have to do it carefully. Defense Strategy Simple, stay on your side and avoid trespassing the center of the map for two big reasons. Number one, you'll get engaged by other players on planes very often, and that's a very common thing before games with jets. But, on your side of the map, your allies can protect you better from them. Number 2. Anti-air enemy players have a tendency to wait until you get close to them before firing, that will make their shots easier to land without telegraphing their location to you, because at longer distances, their shots are easier to see and evade. Now, if you get caught by someone who just spawned on an anti-air vehicle, turn back and dive immediately, Look at your back and simply evade the shots by turning to the opposite side of the incoming fire. Make sure to be far enough from the anti-air vehicle before turning back to the battlefield. Offensive Strategy If you still want to engage them, avoid flying on a straight line or diving on an angle of 90 degrees, since that will make you easier to hit. Remember, this low-level anti-air vehicles requires to guess the firing lead and it becomes easier if you are moving in one direction. That means that your best approach will be on an angle between 45 degrees and 60 degrees. While approaching, fire at the target one or two seconds, and without getting too close, change direction while maintaining your dive but in a less steep angle. This way, your enemy will have it more difficult to find the necessary lead to hit you. Then, proceed to get cover from trees or terrain, get some distance, climb and repeat if necessary. Be careful, if there are multiple anti-air vehicles, you could get overwhelmed by the amount of incoming fire that could force you to make a mistake and get hit, or slow you enough to make you easier to catch by enemy planes. Also, as a last tip, avoid using stealth ammunition against ground targets, not only they are often not the best option against ground units due to its low penetration, but also they don't get tracer bullets that are useful to hit their target with more precision. Look for ammo belts with armor penetration rounds according to your needs and playstyle, and check its characteristics since they can be more effective depending on the angle of fire and distance. 
On my next video, I'll be talking about how to approach anti-air vehicles with early tracking systems and proximity rounds. Stay tuned since I'll be uploading it very soon, or check if it's already released on my channel on Defend from Ground Attack playlist. Now that you know how to defend from ground attack on early games, you are one step ahead on becoming an unbeatable player. Thank you for watching and special thanks to those who subscribe and like my content. You guys are awesome! Also, check out my Patreon where I offer some nice and cool rewards to those who support me financially. The link is in the description.